Okay, for this video, I'm talking about, I'm going to teach you about redox reaction. Basically, a redox reaction is when an oxidation and a reduction both happens at the same time. When both happens at the same time, we see that the reaction is a redox reaction. So for today's video, we just focus on what is oxidation state. But before that, we need to know what is oxidation. Basically, an oxidation reaction occurs when a product gains, sorry, a reactant gains oxygen after the reaction. If the number of oxygen increases, he gains, he accepts oxygen. This reaction is known as a oxidation. If the hydrogen decreases, it's a oxidation reaction. So similarly, electrons decrease, oxidation still increases after the reaction, then this reaction is an oxidation reaction. Now for the redox reaction, Everything is just the opposite. Okay, so now let's look at oxidation state. Okay, oxidation state just refers to the charge of one atom okay, of an element. So the rule is if you are an element, a pure metal like magnesium, your oxidation state will be zero. Similarly, if you are carbon, you are an element, a pure element, your oxidation state will be zero, means your atom basically has no charge. Now, but when you form a compound with another element, such as magnesium oxide, what happens is now both atoms will be charged. You get an ion, so you get Mg2+, plus, and because this is charged, you get an oxidation state of plus two. Oxygen now is an oxide ion, so minus 2, 2 minus, so the oxidation state of oxygen in magnesium oxide is minus 2. For carbon, it's a covalent compound, but they still have charges, oxidation states. So carbon in this case was 0 as an element, but now, so how do we find carbon here? So just refer to your periodic table, oxygen is in group, minus 2. And this is neutral, so you have to balance the charges, minus 2, so carbon must be plus 2, because there is no charge for the overall, so both must cancel out to be 0. So carbon must be plus 2, oxygen must be minus 2. So we get carbon again, for carbon dioxide, 2 oxygen, oxidation state of 1 oxygen is minus 2, minus 2, we don't sum them up, uh. oxidation state is just for 1. So carbon must be plus 4, so that everything will be 0. Now for more compl complex ions, which is more complicating, let's look at this. Now, now the molecule for sulfate has a charge. Okay, it's a complex ion. So everything here, okay, this minus 2 belongs to everything. So what is the oxidation state of sulfur? So how do we find it? So this is how we work out. Form an equation. Each oxygen from the periodic table is group 6, so as the charge of minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So each one is minus 2, oxygen is minus 2. Everything add together, together with the sulfur must give you a minus 6. So the only way you can do this is this is minus 8. So oxygen, sorry, sulfur must be a plus 6. So plus 6, minus 8 will give you a minus 2. Now, where did this minus 2 come from? This minus 2 is the overall charge of the sulfate ions. So everything sulfur and the 4 oxygen adding up together must give you a minus 2. Okay, so let's look at this. Carbonate is, has 3 oxygen, so each one is minus 2. The overall charge of carbonate is 2 minus. So what must carbon be? So carbon must be a plus 4. Plus 4 minus 6 gives you an overall charge of minus 2. So that is how we calculate the unknown. And if you're not sure, you can calculate the unknown based on the summation of charges. Okay, let's look at ammonia. Now in this case, ammonia is special. The positive ion is placed at the back. Hydrogen is placed at the back. So hydrogen from periodic table is plus 1. 
plus one plus one plus one equals zero. Okay, why is it zero? It is zero because there is no charge. Ammonia is a neutral molecule. So what must nitrogen be? Nitrogen therefore must be minus three to give you zero. Okay. Now let's look at ammonium. Ammonia is the same, but now you have an overall charge and four hydrogen. So everything add up must give you plus one. So what must ammonia nitrogen be? So if this is plus four, you must get plus one. Nitrogen must be minus three. Now oxidation state doesn't have to always end at minus one to plus two. It can be positive, negative. So they can be higher charge of charge of higher numbers as well. So let's look at manganese oxide. Manganese, oxygen, we know oxygen is minus 2. We know there are 4 oxygen. The overall charge here is minus 1. So what must I have here so everything will be minus 1. So this is minus 8. So this must be positive. How much positive to get minus 1? 7 positive. So basically, manganese has a charge, it's a special metal, it's a charge of 7 plus. Okay, let's look at chromium. Oh, 2 chromium, 7 oxygen, overall charge must be minus 2. So, by this must be minus 14 equals 2. Minus 2, so the chromium must be plus 12. But because there are two chromium, each chromium will be plus 6, plus 6. So the oxidation state of chromium is plus 6 because oxidation state refers to the charge of one atom. 6. So chromium ion will be 6 plus charge. Okay, let's look at copper sulfate. If you are to work out the oxidation state of copper, simply to just do this, break it up into the ions straight away when you have the charge, you can find copper. Oxidation state of copper is plus 2. Sulfur, break it up into the ions, sulfate ions. You have minus 2 times 4, minus 2, so this must be plus 6. Sodium hydroxide, break it up, Na plus, plus 1, hydroxide. What should hydrogen be? If oxygen is minus 2, hydrogen must be plus 1 so that you can get an overall charge of minus 2 because everything summing up here must give you minus 1. Same game, iron 3, hydroxide, break it up into the ions. The charge gives you the oxidation state. So same thing, break it up to ions, Na plus, CO3 to minus, plus 1. The charge gives you the ion. So, play the same thing, minus 3 times 2, so this is minus 6 equals to minus 2. So, the carb carbon here must be, oxidation state of carbon must be plus 4. The, ox the oxidation state of oxygen here is minus 2, not minus 6. It is just because we add together to find out. Okay, oxidation state always refers to 1.